As a video editor, you're gonna run into problems and errors, and you're not gonna know what the heck is going on, but I'm gonna show you how to avoid most problems in Adobe Premiere, as well as solve most problems. Dope. What's up, my name is Danny Matthews, and today I'm gonna to show you how to solve errors as well as troubleshoot in Adobe Premiere. What you're gonna to wanna to do is come over here to your top bar and under Premiere Pro, or if you're in Windows, it's gonna be under your file. Come over here to Preferences and make sure to go ahead and just open up your general preferences. The reason I just opened up the general is so we can go through this whole thing, but you wanna come down here to Media Cache. Click on Media Cache, and you can see that we have a couple different options here, and I wanna run through them because each one is very important and you need to know what they mean so this can actually make your computer go quicker as well as avoid errors in the future. Now, first thing is location. You wanna pick a location of your either computer or hard drive. If you have your hard drive, make sure that it's always plugged in because if you don't, then the cache files cannot go there. Now, these cache files are rendered files, just anything that you are running through Premiere that it can access quickly. And if you put it into a hard drive that doesn't have a lot of space, it's actually gonna make it run slower and it's gonna make it run into errors that you may not have. So make sure that you put in a location that has enough storage I'm talking like 80 gigabytes minimum that you're gonna want to hold all of these files moving on to remove media cache files now this is the number one thing that you are gonna want to look at in case you run into any error well, all you have to do is just hit delete and you're gonna delete any unused media cache now make sure that it's just the delete unused media cache instead of all if this even gives you an option don't click that just do unused media cache file and everything that's not used whether from past projects or this current project you're gonna delete it and what it's going to do is just kind of refresh it, make it clean, make sure there's no files that are running into errors that are making you have errors or any kind of weird issues going on and just hit OK. And let's go ahead and clear out all of those cache files. This is where 90% of the time it's going to fix your error and your issue. But moving on, just kind of looking at this other stuff as well. We also have this automatic delete cache file older than 90 days or if it's over a certain gigabyte minimum. So I put it at 50 gigabytes because I have about 100 gigabytes storage for this. And after 50 gigabytes, it's just going to go ahead and automatically delete them. And that way I'll never have to run into this issue ever again. And once you guys are good with that, you can just go ahead and hit OK. Another thing, and this is something that you guys probably have seen a video is how to like off optimize performance in your editing software is there is different settings for RAM shared with all of this. And if your computer doesn't have enough RAM for that specific software, actually gonna be running a lot lower and maybe even run into some issues, believe it or not. RAM reserved for each application is five gigabytes. My hardware is different from other people's hardware, so it just runs differently for mine than versus like Windows where you can actually assign each one, specifically each, how much gigabytes for each software that I have. Down here, optimize render for performance or memory. So you have those two different options. If you want your computer to run better and quicker, you want performance. If you want it for memory sake, like, hey, I'm okay for it, like slacking on the performance so I can save some memory on my computer, then you can hit memory. I would never choose that. You can just delete your cache files or you can really just come over here and if it exceeds like 20 gigabytes of cache files, then you can just go ahead and delete them. All right, guys, so make sure that your media cache is cleared and good to go and that it's in a location that has enough storage for your media cache. If you guys have any questions or random errors that you're running into you need help with them go ahead and leave it down in the comments below and i'll see how i can best help you guys with that now onto the troubleshooting section there is a lot of random weird problems and like i said media cache can be 90 percent of your issues but for the other 10 percent that you're running into you just have different things adobe actually has a website where you can go on there and just search up or if you have any questions where you can search up specific error codes that you're having a lot of it is just weird stuff that is has to do with the software where something's just not happening they've updated this software a lot so running into these problems are a lot less likely than it used to be back in like 20 before 2018 i'd say if you guys learned something in this video make sure to check out one of these because i promise you you'll learn something in one of those and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out